All right, here we are, eight days shy of 133. And so since I haven't done UFC stuff in a while, this is pretty much going to be an all UFC vlog, video, whatever. Anyways, so Evans and Ortiz, number two. I'm going with um, Ortiz on this one, judging by his last fight, which pretty much was a blowout I'm in a minute 56. And so, come on. Can't go wrong. Uh, Belfort and Akiyama. Yeah, I want... Yeah, tough one. I'm going to go with Belfort. Even though Belfort's last fight, he got kicked in the face. But I think he's learned from that. And so, Belfort, I think, is going to take that one. Uh, next fight is Hallman and Ebersol. Don't know much about those two, but since i got to pick one, I'm going to go with Ebersol. Riviera and Philippalou. I'm going to go with Riviera. He's, I know him the most, and the guy's a beast. McDonald and Pyle. Wow. Hmm. Let's go with McDonald, that one. Hamill and Gustafson, which is going to be on Spike in a, in a prelim. I'm going with Hamill. Because I've always liked Hamill's work. Pretty, as all-around good fighter. Another Spike fight is Mendez and Yaha. Or whatever. Really? Man, whatever. Anyways. Yeah, let's go with Mendez. And there's uh, one, two, three, four Facebook fights. Uh, pretty much all those guys are no-namers. Maybe except for Brown. I mean, he, he might have something. But yeah, all, the, all those four fights on the are the Facebook fights. And, well, there is a reason why they're not on the main card. But yeah, bottom line, my friends, Ortiz, I think he's going to keep his streak alive and keep going and take out uh, Evans. But if it's if it's going to be a close fight, it'll be a close fight. Uh, what else is going on in UFC lately? Uh, I heard Cain Velasquez is coming back to defend his title on uh, 138. So that's uh, I'm not sure where that's going to be. I believe that's um, probably in October. So that'd be Houston, maybe. But. Um, more on that when I get some more news on that. But yeah, there are my picks for 133, eight days away. Now, I have to, some decisions to make. Do I watch it on stream, don't have to pay much, or hit the bar at Boston Pizza, have a couple drinks, and just be among fans? Don't know yet. But hopefully, I can. Uh, Make some magic happen, get some money going, and grab, go to the bar, have some fun. So uh, that is what uh, those picks are, are at for me. And uh, what else is going on for UFC? Um, they signed a guy by the name of... Let's see, check MMA Junkie here. name is Jeff Curran, and they signed him to a multi-fight deal. I don't know how many fights. I'm thinking five or six, but um, looks like an all-around tough guy. I mean, they, they, call, they call him the Big Frog. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, his his record speaks for itself, man. In 33 and 13 and 1, and he's uh, 0 1 in UFC. So hopefully uh, he'll make that zero uh, a little better. Um, Brilliant Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt. So yeah, he lo uh, his uh, last loss was actually to Matt Serra in uh, 04. So seven years, yeah, it's a lot of fight, a lot of, a lot of training, right? 
so hopefully he'll do well. Uh, what else is going on? Um, apparently Evans was on uh, Jimmy Fallon the uh, day before yesterday. And so I didn't see it, but um, if any of you saw it, yeah, make make a comment, man. And uh, just tell me how that went. But yeah, there it is, my friends. Uh, more UFC news on the, on the way. And uh, as always, more WWE news. Because um, a couple weeks from now is SummerSlam. So maybe um, some predictions in the next few days. Adios, my friends.